when you did the uh, Tokyo Dome shows on New Year's Eve, uh -huh. you appeared with kind of a, an unusual combination of uh, acts like Don Henley and Huey Lewis and Brian Adams. Uh -huh. Quite a bit different from you. You didn't feel, did you feel kind of alienated from the rest of the, uh, the line? At first, at first I thought it was a weird bill, but uh, after uh, we did some shows, I thought it was perfect because there was something for everybody. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit of uh, rock and roll. Well, I did straight ahead rock and roll, and before me there was, uh, what you might call it, uh, Loudness, loudness, yeah, right? Yeah. They're heavy metal. I played rock and roll, well, steady head rock. Then there was Don Hanley, who was more like mellow, and uh, he's great. He was really good musically. He's very good. Great songs. Boys of Summer is one of my favorite songs of all time. And uh, Brian Adams and Hugh Lewis. I think it was a great combination because it was. I mean, I think everybody talking to Brian Adams, talking to Hugh, Hugh Lewis and Don Hanley, they all said that they felt weird. They, they thought it was going to be a weird bill. But when it actually happened, it was it, it was actually a good combination. Hmm. It's just a little bit of everything for everybody. Yeah. Full course meal. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I noticed that a lot of the people were leaving after your set, though. So I guess a lot of people came to see you. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's <laughs> great. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> Not for the other bands. <laughs> no, but for me, yes. <laughs> that's great to hear. It's good news. Uh -huh. It's great. It's, that's nice to know. Nice to know that people appreciate what I'm doing. Yeah. That's why he asked you the question, because obviously the fans must have felt rather strange about the bill as well. So uh -huh. that's why, uh, uh -huh. when he noticed them leaving, and that was sort of the proof of, the, uh, uh -huh. proof of that. So. Well, that's cool. That's well, cool. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I think it's I think it's still nice if people like it. I heard also, actually, uh, a lot of the tickets uh, sales, for, for uh, they counted, and, and I think uh, this is a big... I can't remember exactly how many, how much the percentage was, but there was a lot of the tickets. If, if, if not half, almost half of them were for me. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. That Again. means I'm a big, big, big star. <laughs> big, big money, eh? <laughs> I, th I was just happy to come back to Japan and be able to play here again, and uh, uh -huh. I'm glad to be here again. Hmm. I guess it's the, be the best thing is for you to appear alone, though. Uh, yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Hopefully next time I do the dome on my own. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he was surprised to see you doing Hanoi Rocks uh, music at that gig. Uh, when did you start feeling like uh, going back to the Hanoi Rocks catalog again? Because I guess for a while you hadn't been doing it, huh? No, well, for a while I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I just didn't like play any shows or anything. But when I started doing this tour, uh, a lot of people wanted to hear those songs. And I was told that, you know, it would be nice to hear them. And I, I, I wasn't really into it. I didn't want to do them originally. But then, uh, when I came here to do press one week, uh, last, I mean, before the last time I came here once for a week to do press, I, told, I gave the band the tapes and I told them to rehearse these songs. And I said, you know, I'll come back, I'll see how it sounds. And they rehearsed them and they sounded real good. So I thought, well, okay, why not? Why not do it? It's part of my history and it's part of me. And uh, the fans will appreciate it. Uh, uh, so I thought it was okay to do them, you know, it's nice. That's blasphemy or anything, you know. <laughs> Obviously, Hanoi Rocks is Hanoi Rocks, and you can never replace that or recreate that. But doing those songs, I thought, just a couple of songs, I thought it was, I thought it was nice for the fans. But, but you did think twice about it at the beginning? You think, did you oh, think, yeah. well, maybe I shouldn't be doing it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. well, I mean, what made you do it, though? Well, because they sounded good. Yeah. <laughs> songs sounded good, and... Uh, uh, I think uh, people would like to hear those songs, mm -hmm. and the good songs, yeah. so why not do them? Yeah. Uh, uh, this is pretty much like overlapping what we were just talking about, but you know, you didn't have any like really strong commitment to not do the, the kind of like songs. I did, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, you're just kind of interested in knowing that what at what point you know, what you made me do it yeah, you overcame that uh, hesitation I didn't have enough songs for the set <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good reason yeah right. <laughs> 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 I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you must have also thought the fans would get a kick out of it too, huh? 
mainly for them. I yeah. Think. yeah, I think for the fans. I think they were very happy to hear them. And they, uh, as soon as we play those songs, they're like, ah, they were yeah. nuts. So I think, why not give them a treat? <laughs> and you know, it's nothing that's going to change anything. Besides, they're re-releasing all that stuff, anyways. Now, I mean, oh, yeah. maybe they like, which I'm trying to, I'm trying to stop. You know, I'm trying to like put some kind of control over that. Trying to stop it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. And, you know, uh, you can only release so much of the stuff. The band is not even together anymore, uh -huh. and they're still number five in music life, and numbers whatever. You know, in other magazines, they, the Hanley Rocks is still larger than life, mm -hmm. and especially now. Uh -huh. you know. So uh, I think uh, I'm trying to. I don't want it to be overexposed. Yeah, that was part of the thing of the band. It was like it cannot be bought or so It couldn't. It couldn't be. It wasn't like a thing. that was like uh, we know. We were not. We didn't care about the money. We didn't care. We just did it because we loved it. Mm -hmm. It was like a family. It was very natural. We grew up together. We were very young when we started, and and it was it was a special thing. So I'm trying to make the point. And kind of make a statement there too at the same time. Or actually, I don't want to cheat people. You know, I don't want to put out like the same songs over and over. Now they want another compilation album out, and I told them no. And uh, uh, I talked to my manager, and he has some old demos that were previously unreleased. Certain songs. He says, okay, put out some songs that are not being released, that have not been released before. That makes more sense than re releasing uh, the same old songs over and over. So, uh, I mean, since the band is not alive anymore, I think. Uh, I'd like to give something uh, to the fans that would be their money's worth. So that's why the next comp there's going to be a compilation out soon, which is going to be which is going to be previously unreleased tracks, mm -hmm. demos, and uh, uh, some single B sides and stuff, stuff that was never really officially re released. So, um, but I think Hanoi Rocks is a very special thing for me, and I'm trying to protect it, kind of like not not like make it into a corny thing. Mm -hmm. Hmm, but I mean, a lot of people, you know, want the the, the same music on you know, compact disc this time. Maybe that's why name That's also a difference, but uh, it's still the same songs, you know. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, but this time it's going to be something different. It's going to be some demos and some some songs people haven't heard before. So. <laughs> it's really a weird. It's a unique situation, you know. It's a band like this. It's a band has been dead for six years now. We split up six years ago, five six years ago, and uh, it's still like number five in the music life charts. <laughs> and everybody, it was a very special thing about the band. And it was a very special band, and I'm I'm glad that people recognize it for that. And I like to keep it that way. You know, mm. I don't want to overexpose it. Mm. Did the people kind of equate you with Hannah Rocks, though? I mean, they, they must like even looking back at the band in retrospect. You know, as long as Michael Monroe is still performing, it's almost as if Hannah Rocks is still uh, in existence. Well, it's not quite the same. It's 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 similar. It's kind of like uh, I, the band will always be there with me, mm -hmm. uh, no matter what I do. It's, that was my band. It's like like uh, like Iggy Pop had the Stooges, mm -hmm. or Steve Bader's had the Dead Boys. That was his band. Or uh, you know Hunter had Mata Uh You can never go back to the past, really. But um, I, I guess I'm, I mean it's harder for guitar players to do the solo thing than for singer. So I think I'm in a better position in that, in that sense. But I actually never used to write the songs in Hanoi Rocks. Not most of them. Not most of the songs were Andy McCoy, the guitar player, wrote them. So when I, I uh, kind of I started writing full time myself only recently, almost since I became solo. Mm -hmm. And uh, and thus this is more me as Michael Monroe, as Michael Monroe and Hanoi Rocks. It's more my own personality. And I have I I have a lot more to say in my lyrics. I have to have some 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 more to say than just like sex, drugs, and rock and roll, which is a cliche by now. I think you know everybody's doing it. Not to put down Hanoi's lyrics. I mean that wasn't exactly what that was lyrics were about either. It was it was different and 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 uh, it was well Hanoi Rocks was an entity unto itself. It was none of the usual rules applied. We kind of like just went ahead and did what you know, we didn't think about. We didn't sit down and think about what we were going to do. We just went on and did it, you know, went to the studio, wham, bam, bang, bim, bim, bim. That was it. You know, not, never thought about it. Yeah, on this new solo album I did, I just maybe thought about it a couple of minutes longer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special consideration. Yeah. Special. <laughs> I thought of what I really wanted to do on my own, and it's, it's my own identity and my own set of songs. So, you know. 
What was the original question, by the way? No, 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 no. <laughs> What's that? Oh, it was like about how people think, you know, Hannah rocks is you. They uh -huh. encourage you. you know. uh -huh. Right, yeah. right. Well, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I think it's, uh, it's different from yeah. the Hannah used to be, but, but uh, it's, hopefully they still like it and it's, it's rock and roll. It's, and, you know, it's maybe more, musically maybe more straight ahead, more simple. Mm -hmm. Hannah rocks in more parts in the songs. Right. My music is more straightforward and mm -hmm. simple, you know, mm -hmm. basic rock and roll. That's your, you know, uh, on your own, with the solo career, do you feel more confidence? Is, is it any different from before? It's much different from before. I feel more confidence in general. It's not necessarily because of the, because of the break of the band, or the, because of the breakup of the band. I don't think... Uh, uh, that has as much to do with it as growing up as a person and matured as a you know as an artist as a musician. Um, it's very much more hard work for me because I'm on my own and I'm in control of everything. It's my name out there, and anything that happens is going to be my own role. So I better not let anybody tell me what to do. But uh, it's very different from Hanoi Rocks. It's Hanoi Rocks was a band. It was five guys, and me now it's my own role in the backup band. So it's a lot different. Uh, I've matured a lot, and I'm, I think, in a way, I'm better, better than ever before, and I know more of what I'm doing now. Uh, but um, nothing beats a band that works like Hannah. I mean, nothing can be as it's very special as five guys like me you know, that works together. And I guess it wasn't meant to go on. I mean, what happened was there was an accident, and mm -hmm. the drama got killed, and mm -hmm. everything just kind of fell to pieces after that. But uh, I think I'm, you know, I do my best with what I have left. And I'm not necessarily stuck with my band. You know, like my band right now, I could, you know, it's not necessarily the band I'm going to have forever. I think um, I'm still working on it. So it's much more high pressure situation here? It's more pressure, but then again, uh, it's easier in a way because you have more control. It's more like you, whatever you want to do, if you know what you want to do, you just do it and, and nobody tells you what to do. With the band, you have always have to kind of, in a way, compromise to a certain extent. When people, uh, you have four other guys saying what they think, so you have to sort of work it out. But then again, back then, we never used to think about what we were doing <laughs> anyway, so mm -hmm. we just went with the flow. Mm -hmm. It's more control, you have more control over it, and, uh, and, and, that, and that way it's more hard work. But uh, uh, if you know what you want to do and you know what you don't get misinterpreted or you people, you know, you get the point across. It's kind of easy. It's in a way it's easier. It's more hard work, but in a way it's easier to get across what you want to come across like. You know. mm -hmm. on with the, uh, the other guys in the band, I mean, uh, in terms of like, uh, you know, the rules? Uh, rules? Are things that, no, not rules, roles. Right. The roles of each member. Like, is everything well balanced right now? Yeah, it's me and them. <laughs> <laughs> you give the orders and they, they follow it, huh? Well, more or less, I show them how to play and stuff. I think, you know, uh, the guitar player especially. I mean, and I have to tell them what to do, which it's not my choice. And I'd rather not do that if I can help it. But in this way, I think, like, for example, the guitar players come from a different place. They're more used to playing, like, heavy metal or kind of style, you know, or whatever their own style is, it's, it's, their style is not what I'm about, and, and what happened before was natural, now I'm showing them how to play, and I kind of tell them more or less at the part time, so, mm. so that's the difference, and, and, and I prefer working with people who come up with their own ideas, and this, you know, but I kind of put this band together in a rush, too, for this tour, for, 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 the, for the American tour, and it stayed the same uh, up until now. And, uh, you know, whatever, if this changes, it's, it's life. But, uh, as I said, I'm not necessarily stuck with this band. This is, you know, like, you know, I just put it together a few months ago. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I just, you know, I have to show them a lot what to do. And uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't like that this particularly, but uh, it works. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It can only be better, though. Mm -hmm. Intention of making it into a permanent or semi-permanent unit, then? Huh? This man? Yeah. 
This band right now, as it is, I would doubt it. I doubt if this is going to stay for the next album. Hmm. Uh, I don't think so. It's <laughs> <laughs> not a very good band, is it? <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> hey, this this will be printed after the show, so good. That'll be good. Yeah, I. I okay, good. So don't tell the guys, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> Just been working out, eh? It's working. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's okay. But see, I always, I always want to go for greatness. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be great. It's mm -hmm. good now. Mm -hmm. It's not brilliant. It's not like, wow, what is this? Man, wow, look, it's just you know, I'm, I'm carrying the show mostly on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not like you know, you, if the Hanoi rocks is anywhere on stage, you look at something exciting going on. Mm -hmm. But this band, I put together, and you can't expect to be we created a man like Hanoi rocks mm -hmm. because it happened. And it was very special, and it was right. a certain time of our lives. Yeah, all of us, five of us, and now I had to go on the road and I put a band together, and uh, they're okay. They did, they play the parts right, but it's not as special as Hanoi Rocks was. But when I look at this band and I look at all the other bands that are out there right now, I would think it's pretty good. It's you know, considering the standard of today, the way bands do it nowadays. Uh, well, a lot of the bands sound they don't even really sound like they sound on the record. And uh, I mean, I hope I don't sound like I'm trying to imitate my imitators, but <laughs> but uh, uh, it's at least it's I mean they're, they're good, they're good musicians, and they're, you know they're doing a good job at what they're doing. And that's all I'm saying is I always just keep in my mind and I remember that what uh, you know what I'm known for is is being a legend, and without for something you know what make people make. So uh, Hanoi Rocks is sometimes is okay. No, sorry. So, Hanoi Rocks was a very special band. It was a legendary band, and and uh, to, you can't recreate something like that. But you gotta move on and move into bigger and better things. For right now, I'm doing the best I can with what I have, and it can only get better. And I'm, I'm all I'm saying is, I don't owe anything to anybody. I'm just you know these guys are getting paid well, and you know, they're happy to be here. That's fine. Whatever I do next with my career, it's up to me because it's me. It's my mm -hmm. name. It's going to be out there, right. you know. And so, you know, that's that's just going to go with the flow. Go with what I have. Mm -hmm. They're good musicians, though. They're fine, but they don't come from the same place I do. Right. Not, they're different from a different school. I like more the old school. You know, like in my to me, guitar players are like you know, Chuck Berry and stuff in there. And, the old 50s rock and roll, that's mm -hmm. what I, because Little Richard is my favorite singer, and that's the stuff I was into. Well, these guys grew up to, you know, some of them are Hanoi Rocks fans, mm -hmm. and, uh, which is very uh, flattering and I'm very honored, but then again, it's kind of like they're trying to do something they're not. So, that shows. They're doing okay, they're doing fine, but they a really good job, of, with, you know, considering it's not really their pocket. You know, the guitar players I'm all used to playing like a heavy metal style, and I tell them, no, 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 you play this style, man. Yeah. So that's the way it is with this band, and I'm, you know, I'm not trying to hide it. I, I you know, I gotta be honest about it. You know, so, mm. truly, honestly, I must say, this is the facts. That's the fact, Jack. <laughs> 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 Now that you're actually, a, you know, a, a, a solo singer, do you, do you think that you were cut out for uh, for this role as opposed to just a member in a band? Well, I was never just a member in a band. I was always the front man. Yeah. But uh, that's the way. That's the way uh, it's, it's happened. Mm -hmm. And I, there must be a reason for it. Do you think you you fit this role better than before? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> I fit it okay, but I I think. Uh, I, I fit the role fine, but and it's and like I said, it's easier for me because of what I'm about and what I think about things. It's easier for me to say, you know, that's what I think and this is what I do on my own. But personally, I would probably be happier with, to have somebody to collaborate with. And what I'm hoping to do is to achieve, to establish a band that will be the same on the album as on the road. Mm -hmm. And that's a long process sometimes. Mm. It might happen just like that. It might take years. So I'm doing the best I can with what I have. Mm. <coughs>
arguments that make sense. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta get some photos. Uh, okay, all right. Any, yeah. any other last question or anything? That was the last one. That was the last one. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Very good. Who's the translator? It's great. Great to meet you. You've been in Japan or what? Yeah, I've been here about ten years now. Ten years? Yeah. Wow. Long, long time. I love it here. Yeah. It's my favorite country. Oh, is that right? Definitely. Yeah. It's my favorite place to come to. You got a lot of fans here. Yeah, yeah, I do. But also, I like the culture and everything. You know. See? Yeah, there's a girl. There you go. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I was almost into it. Thanks for this because I did a couple other magazines with this outfit. Um, so, when I